I like to help people. Right now, um, I, I'm broke as fuck. And like, I'm always saying I'm broke as fuck until I'm making a million a month. Um, I just want to get the skills necessary to be able to provide enough value to, in the marketplace to make a million a month. Um, so that I can help more people <laughs> to be completely transparent with you. That's like all I care about. But I mean, I'm interested in a lot of things. I mean, we're interested in a lot of stuff. What? Uh, skydiving, uh, skydiving, <laughs> you know, learning, singing, uh, dancing, tumbling, oh, new adventures. adventures. You like to go close Outdoor to stuff. I'm interested in everything. I'm I'm like I like everything. Like I love everything. Oh, you uh, like motorcycles. But I, I take this stuff on my bucket list. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do the motorcycle collection. So, uh, learn learn seven languages. Mm-hmm. Dance. Learn to dance really really well. Learn to sing. Yeah, just decently. I am going to get into boxing, and then I also will be doing some um, physique shows, like muscle building competitions, but like natural. So, I want to show people that you can just be a very well-rounded man. Oh, and I like to study the art of Karma Sutra as well. Of what? Of Karma Sutra. I guess I'm not familiar. What is that? Look it up. <laughs> okay. It's worth it. I promise. C A R. I mean K A R M A Sutra. You would like it, Pisces. Believe me. Okay, I'll do it. Um, last question um okay if you were making a million dollars a month not if when huh not if yeah. when. when 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 you are making a million dollars a month um what would you do with it like how would invest, you invest every single leftover penny uh, into assets. I don't want to upgrade my life out of uh, earned income. I think that's the stupidest thing you can do. You want to upgrade your life out of passive income. So acquire assets until your earned uh, your passive income exceeds your earned income. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I guess I'll see you guys soon. All right. Three reasons why you will be a great, not even just for me, for anybody, great, a great girlfriend, queen, wife, whatever you want to call it. And you can't say looks. <laughs> um, my mindset. Um, We're I, talking about physically or like, you know, or, or, or you know, met- metaphorically. You got to do a hit on your shoulders. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Both. Both. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely my mindset. I think that um, just in my life now, I like to give a lot of wisdom to my friends and be able to take that in as well. Mm. Um, Give me your best bar right now. Go. Give me a quote. Blow my mind. And I'm not talking about like that. Give me your best quote on the spot. On the spot. Putting you on the spot. Um, What's wrong? You don't like a little bit of spontaneity? <laughs> I guess my biggest life motto is that um, to to not hold back, live your life to the fullest, just because it is so short. Bro, that's the biggest quote you had? Come on, you can do better than that. Like that's <laughs> like high school yearbook stuff right there. Come on, man, give me a quote that blows my mind. Oh my goodness, you're gonna have to come back. No, <laughs> I'm here, right here, right now. You said this is an asset. You literally said that this is why you should. Somebody should should cuff you. Your mindset. I'm putting you on the spot. Let's go right here, right now. Don't tell me these little these little these people making you nervous now. No, that is like that's my biggest life motto is that life is really short. Okay. And so you live. give me another one. Um, um, I don't know. You give me one. What's the magic word? Please. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. She got like, so I was, You don't. You don't want to what? I said I don't want to disrespect and say the word. So I was like, I would, but. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that being said, um, I will say decide, it rhymes with homicide for a reason. When you decide to change your life, you got to unalive the old you, old habits, old friendships, old connections. Very true. That's that. I got a lot. I got a question for you. This is one of my favorite bars. What's the only form of payment in the history of the world? The only 
we form. Then... You get it right. I'll buy you lunch tomorrow. How about that? <laughs> um. <laughs> wow. Okay. The only form of payment. Let me get out the camera because I know my handsomeness is probably like fogging up your brain. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, um. Cash. I don't know. But if you did know, what would it be? But if I did know? Mm -hmm. Um. Wisdom. You think wis wisdom? Mm -hmm. Kind of. So sacrifice is the only form of payment in the history of the entire world. People think it's money, but it's not. You can sacrifice money. You can sacrifice time. You can sacrifice effort, energy, freedom. But sacrifice is the only form of payment in the history of the world. I always say the Lord had to sacrifice his only son to create man in his image, to make his dream come true. You know, and I, I always tell people, what are you willing to sacrifice to make your dreams come true? A lot of people don't want to sacrifice time. They don't want to sacrifice money. They don't want to sacrifice anything. They don't want to sacrifice comfort. And that's why they never, their dreams will never come true. It was partially correct it was from sacrifice. <laughs> yeah so go, mindset number one and then what's number two the other two reasons why somebody why you would make a great girlfriend wife um i i like to think that i um i'm a good communicator so i'm able to kind of see my view and another person's view and better. okay one more. That's big communication. Yeah. What last one? Why do you feel like you make a good girlfriend, wife, or queen? Um, because I like to push my partner to, be able to grow, um, continuously grow. That's good. That's awesome. Okay, two out of the three. All right, we just got to work on that first one, man. I thought she was gonna have a bar for me, babe. Anything you want to say to her? Um, no, I would just. Have you read Have you read Rich Dad Poor Dad? Yes. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. I have not, but what? That, that's what. Yep. I was ask. Read that book, girl. And read this book. And, and DM DM us when you finished, okay? Matter of fact, I want you to order this book today, and I want you to order this book. Start with this one, and I want you to message me every Friday and let me know. Matter of fact, have you ever heard the rule of one hundred? You want to explain the rule of 100, baby? The rule of 100 is that if you, for a year, spend at least 18 minutes mm -hmm. That's a not day. the rule of 100. What's the rule of 100? You're right, but what's the rule of 100? It's the rule of 100. Oh. Well, I don't hmm? Okay. <laughs> so the rule of 100 is if you spend 100 hours doing any one discipline, Right, Olivia? 100 yes. hours, rule of 100. 100 oh. Doing 100 hours of doing any discipline, whether it's playing piano, whether it's martial arts, whether it's reading a book, whether it's playing a, a sport, doing a pitch, doesn't matter. Um, you will be in the top 5% of everybody in the entire world at that, just 100 hours. And 100 hours turns out to be 18 minutes a day for a year. So if you want to get really good at something, you just practice it for 18 minutes every single day for a year. And you'll be in the top five percent of it after a year. Um, that was along the line of like the books. Um, I like to listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, mm -hmm. there are podcasts that you guys would recommend. Podcasts. You ever heard of these? <laughs> these nuts. She would be better for like as far as women podcasts on that day. Who do you listen to as far as podcasts? Oh, for podcasts, I mean it depends what you want to do. But what I listen to is I like for business the Boss Babe podcast. I love that podcast. In terms of women, 
Oh, in terms of women, uh, I don't listen. I don't really. I need to look through my list. It's been a while. I don't really listen to podcasts that much uh, anymore. But I, I started listening to like the Balanced Black Girl, and she's pretty good. I would say something that I'll listen to. So I don't know. I'm really picky with the with the information and the content I consume. So yeah. How about you? Um, I think Grant Cardone has a lot of oh, good podcasts. Oh man, Grant's my guy. You do Carter on you? Huh? You do Carter on you? No. You gotta get. Um, you gotta get on Carter on you. Yeah. All right. And Sweet. That is a good yeah. one as well. No, it is. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate you being on. Yo, shoot me a DM really quick. Yo, when you, this girl, guys, she's she's I'm nice. So I, I yeah. low key think she's a player though. You guys go blow her up. <laughs> she seems all shy and, and kind. Blow her up. Yeah, I think she's a player. I don't know. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Is she a good girl or no? I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, you guys go blow her up. She's a she's a cute girl. You gonna get all type of crazy DMs. These people are crazy. <laughs> So I'll see you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, guys. Uh-huh. We'll do one more. You want one more, Queen, or you want to answer some questions? We'll do it quick. Somebody asked me, what have I learned from my audience? And do I plan on actually using the things, advice? Uh, I think I had, one well, number one thing I had learned is, um, examine everything. And when a man's right, his world will be right. And if things aren't going right in your world, whether it's your business, whether it's your relationship, that means there's something in time that fix, right? So I think the most beautiful part about social media is like them allowing me to speed up the process of looking within, that's all. And also removing anything that was like fake or superficial from my life. Because social media at the end of the day to me is just a spotlight. They say you say you want to help people, but why do you have an attitude with the people you want to help? I don't think I have an attitude. I think sometimes y'all be annoying, um, you know, when y'all be coming up here with just on, on crazy energy, crazy intentions. But I definitely don't know that I have an attitude with y'all. So sometimes people just be annoying, you know, that's all. Got to improve my patience. Oh, these beautiful, these beautiful girls out there. They always beautiful girls. They All right, man, I think Instagram's tripping on me. Listen, guys, we appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you guys DM me success. Join the 1%. It's a free group full of people that are part. Have a great night. Listen, they got a concert. Concert going to be here tomorrow night. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, y'all. It's going to be crazy. Woo. See y'all. Peace.